Hey guys, it's Bub here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the latest leaked build of Windows 10X. Recently, there's been a leaked build that is meant for single screen devices. This is the first Windows 10X build that we've seen since I believe March, and it's not even official. This was leaked, and I have it here in hand today, so we're going to be taking a look at it and just really seeing what's changed and what the future for Windows 10X really is. Instead of using the Microsoft emulator like we did with the previous video, I had to use Hyper-V as the image I downloaded was a virtual hard disk. So we go ahead and starting the machine, all we have is this little circular loading icon down here. And now we're brought into the Windows 10X setup. Now this looks a little bit different than it did in the last version. Honestly, I would really like to see this kind of setup brought to Windows as the current out-of-box experience isn't exactly favorable on Windows 10. So apparently I didn't configure the virtual switch right, so I'm going to have to go back and reconfigure Hyper-V's switch. However, in order to set up Windows 10X, you need a network connection. It's not optional, you have to have a network connection. Alright, and now that we're back with an internet connection, we can just see that this is a simple license agreement, and trying to click on the link doesn't actually do anything. So it's kind of hard to read the license agreement, but we're just going to go ahead and accept it. Just like the standard Windows 10 setup, we have the option to set up for personal use or an organization. If we click on organization, I would assume it would ask us to sign in. Yeah, it asks us to sign into a Microsoft account. As far as I can tell, there's no traditional active domain sign in here. It's just Microsoft. So going back, let's go ahead and set up this device for personal use. It will then ask us to sign in with our Microsoft account. This is obviously just a mini web browser running in here as it's not native like it is on Windows 10. After we, sign in with, after we signed in with our Microsoft account, it's asking us to create a PIN. So we can go ahead and create a PIN as there was no skip button. Let's just go ahead and enter a standard PIN as 159951. I've tried to set up a PIN on my test install as well as this install, but it won't let us use a PIN. So we're going to go ahead and have to skip that one for now. Now we get to set up our privacy options. We're just going to go ahead and click next through all of this as I don't necessarily care. We're going to go ahead and turn off these features as this is a Hyper-V virtual machine and I'm not planning to use this as my daily driver. Just as a reminder, this is a leaked build of Microsoft's Windows 10X operating system. This is not final. This is not official. This is leaked. So, of course, some things are very unstable, unfinished, not rounded corners. It's just a little bit of a mess right now. So right now, just taking a look at the desktop, not much has changed from the Windows 10X that we saw in March. However, there is a huge change. There's not two screens. This is simply one screen. So just going to start off, let's change the desktop background or not. Um, the system is currently frozen a little bit. Nope, there we go. It just took a while to load. Uh, now we can go ahead and it, it froze again. So like I was saying, this is a very unstable build of Windows, and because it's leaked, uh, there's a lot of little issues that we have here. So let's go ahead and just change the background to make it look a little bit different from last time. There's two default background images. We have the beach and whatever this is. I'm going to just simply choose the beach, and we can go ahead and exit out. So what's new in this version of Windows 10X? Well, the start menu, or whatever they want to call this, takes up the entire screen. Instead of taking up a little part on one screen, it actually takes up the entire screen. Showing all apps, there's not a lot of apps installed, we just have my, the standard required apps and nothing really else. Of course, these are the newer versions of the apps with the more colorful little icons. Opening up the Microsoft Store, we can see this is literally just a duplicate of what we see in the standard version of Windows 10, nothing special. And in this version, we can actually multitask. We can snap things to the left and slap things on the right, just like we would with a dual screen setup. It's clear that Microsoft has intended to switch Windows 10X from a dual screen device operating system to a low powered like baseline surface device, which I'm not opposed to. I actually like the idea of having an operating system that's simplistic for web browsing and it doesn't eat up a ton of resources. So a lot of these apps are just the standard UWP apps that you would find inside of Windows 10. Like for example, here's our full screen calculator that we have here. The file explorer is probably the biggest thing changed from Windows 10 and of course the earlier builds. We can see here that we do have options such as downloads and OneDrive. And if we click here, this opens our storage settings. Somehow there's 128 gigabytes free, which I'm not sure how I managed to get that, but that's where we are right now. We can see that there is an empty folder in downloads and we can always create a new folder and just name it test. 
and here's our brand new folder. I personally really like this file explorer. Obviously, it's a little bit weird compared to the standard one. It's lacking a lot of features, but I believe as we get closer and closer to the final Windows 10X release, this will become more rounded, better, better things built inside of this app. Going back to settings, we can see that this build is version 2004, which is based off of the May 2020 update, not the later 2009 update. This is build 2279.1002, so definitely way later than what we saw last time. Going ahead back to the home of the settings, we can see this looks pretty similar to the one that you'd find on an older version of Windows 10. We have all of the standard little settings here. Taking a look at multitasking, let's just go ahead and open two apps, just settings and to-do here. We can go ahead and if we snap one app to one side, it automatically says, okay, there's another app open. Do you want to open it on that side? It's basically the same way that it works on Windows 10. Something for some reason I can't get is I can't drag to resize. It's just one standard size. That's something I would like to see priority. So maybe I want settings to be bigger. Here's the notification I wasn't actually planning on seeing. The notifications look a little bit weird. They're not really rounded correctly. This, this looks a little bit weird. But other than that, I mean, for me, it looks pretty nice. Opening up task view here, we can see that we have the two apps. There's no option to make more desktops. It's just one standard desktop and all of your apps right there. Taking a look at the notification center thing, we can see that we have quick settings such as the option to turn on a VPN, look at our display, compose mode, which basically turns the device 90 degrees. Not sure why we would need that. Rotation lock, because this is obviously meant for a tablet. We can change our keyboard layout, do not disturb, airplane mode location, and ease of access. We also have notifications up at the top, kind of suspiciously like Chrome OS. We can go ahead and lock our device. This is the lock screen. It's a little bit bare compared to what we have seen in Windows 10 and even Chrome OS. Clicking on signing in, it actually brings up a Microsoft account window asking us to enter our password. There's nothing else. We just have to enter our password here. I do like all the recents down here, however, I really wish that they would add actual recents as I've never opened these documents inside of Windows 10X. These are all documents I've accessed on my actual Windows 10 computer. I've never opened these, so I wish this would just be clear until I open some documents. Kind of like how Windows... So that's the latest leaked build of Microsoft's Windows 10X operating system. Like I said earlier, this is the core of the operating system. This is good for right now. We need to take this core and round some edges. We need to perfect the little things. But as for the operating system concept and what we actually have, this is a really good progress update. And I'm really happy that I was able to get my hands on this build to try it out. So thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos and device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.